Hey, Ryan, welcome to Palmetto Bluff. I love it here. It is an amazing, somewhat understated, wow. world-class resort in the South Carolina low country. It's amazing here. So private, I mean, so secure. Look at these trees, we've got the moss, we've got the river, the lagoons, and these are some fancy houses. It's like this house is fancy. Listen, th th this house is special. It was yeah. recently completed. 6,500 square feet on almost an acre and a half of property. You'll see later on, but marsh and deep water views out back. No detail was left unturned when it came to 21 Nottingham Road in Palmetto. I love this kind of entry compound entrance here. You've got the gas lanterns, you've got gorgeous landscaping, you've got your motor court here. So you've got the custom James Bond Loki, you've got the two Mercedes here, brand new. Thank you for getting me one in custom cobalt Sirhan Blue though, I appreciate that. Absolutely, always thinking about you. Can we go inside? Can we show up the inside? inside? You gotta come check, check this out. out. How about it? So cool. Bar area here. Look at these ceilings. Look at this millwork. It's fantastic. So ceilings, that's an important feature. Yeah. Imported cypress from Italy. As it should be. Absolutely. Pine locally sourced with 100-year-old pine columns. Wow. Wow. True great room. I mean, from the stone feature wall over there in that massive, massive kitchen, all the way here over to the gas fireplace, these vaulted ceilings and beams. And then you've got great flow here between kind of primary, all the guest bedrooms upstairs, some fun rooms you were mentioning to me back there, and then the outdoor. I mean, I cannot wait to show people outside because it is just out of this world. You know, people talk all the time about uh, homes and entertaining. Yeah. This is really gonna be it. Yeah. You'll see some different rooms. There's also a common theme, almost a spa-like feel throughout this house. Yeah. So, it's you know, good. the great room is fantastic. How about we go check out the kitchen? Let's do it. So one of the things that I think is important to point out, um, handcrafted cabinets, um, wonderful countertops. Behind me here, you'll have a workstation uh, and sink. You have a buffet with extra storage underneath. Again, pine and cypress ceilings. Plaster accents, commercial hood in the kitchen, yeah. uh, in the gourmet kitchen um, with a plaster uh, feature above. So, you know, for the cooking enthusiast or foodie, you're good to go here. This is the place. You've got lots of sinks, you've got lots of storage, like you said, and every window has a view. And I love this too. So, you can do kind of your summer breakfast right out here and your screened in porch and you've got your outdoor fireplace and entertaining area. It's really, really, really pretty. And the depth here. And this, we see a lot of houses and you have a lot of compartments, but to have this kind of loft space with these vaulted beam ceilings to create this depth, I mean, this is really where the value comes into play for me. Yeah, I agree. And, and I think this in and of itself, you know, the style, the design, the thought process that went into this yeah. kind of separates itself apart from some of the other homes in this wonderful community. Now, there's a lot of house here to see. So where do you want to go to next? How about you go check out the primary suite okay. and I'll meet you on the other side of the house in some of the fun rooms. Okay. All right, go check it out. Now this is a primary suite. You've got your Zen spa bathroom here. I love the stone surrounding the bathtub. You have this massive steam shower in there with eight different jets. The ceiling heights though, I mean, just look at this. Look in here in the primary. This is where you know that this is an extra, extra special house because it was designed by the architect who actually owns the house. So he spent the time, the effort, the love, the passion, the blood, the sweat, the tears to really, really put this together. Amazing closet space behind us, like OMG closet space. Now let me go find Chris. This house is really big. Chris? Chris? Ryan? Where'd you go? Whoa, this is cool. This is the like covered here. bridge. Oh, oh, whoa. How about wow. this? I can watch every college football game here ever. This is the club room. 
Got it. So four screens. It's like a club. Yeah, it is. It's actually, uh, we'll call it Club K. Four screens, beverage centers. It's not just a normal beverage center, full kitchen. House is built for fun. Oh, this is the perfect multi-purpose room for entertainment. Kids or just like an older couple that's gonna have people come and visit and grandkids. I mean, it's just relax. fit for everything. Relax, but look at the view. Yeah, I saw that. I mean, it's nuts, but we wanna hold that for them because they haven't seen it yet. All right, keep going. I gotta take a look at this cinema. Wow. Right. What is this, 150 inches? 160 inches. Oh, how dare I? Eight Palladian relaxing lounge chairs. Amazing. What's the bed bath count of this house? You have five bedrooms, seven baths. Big. Plus a bunk room. Big. Over the garage, which we'll see that in a little bit. Three car garage, then Amazing. the entire outdoor space. Three car garage, fantastic resort-like outdoor space. Amazing. This house is so cool. All right, kids, keep going. Let's go. Hey Ryan, welcome to one of the guest rooms. Nice. With a full bath. Beautiful stone. Um, there's a second guest room on the other side. Yep. Um, different features, tile, shower, things like that. Great flow though up here. I mean, just even walking by with his office, kind of bedroom number five there with an ensuite, and then you've got all the guests here, plus kind of like either a homework station or a lounge. A little beverage center also you pass leading to the lounge. Gotta have that. And then both of these guest bedrooms uh, lead to a balcony. Look, Look how cool this is. What kind of wildlife we got out here. Look at this place. Wow. Look at all Man. the natural native trees, palm trees, live oak. And sun. And sun. And sun. Oh my. Look at that pool, the fountains, the fire pit. How about that? Wild. The Crazy. I'm kind of transported a little bit like there. I mean, I, as a New Yorker coming down here, I mean, I am sold even just on the view before I saw that pool. But if I'm coming up from Miami, even, you know, this kind of, it keeps me at home. And then you've got all this yard space, privacy. I don't see anybody. I'm totally by myself here. I feel like I'm in Forrest Gump. <laughs> One uh, final thing, metal roofs. So popular down here in the South Carolina low country because of the heat, the yeah. humidity, the durability. Uh, but just a wonderful upgraded feature to this home. Amazing. So right now, I think if we've got a few minutes, we'd like to sit down with the architect of this home. He's here? He's here. Oh, wow. He'll tell us a little bit about kind of the vision, the thought process, and uh, you'll enjoy some time with him. Let's go find him. Come Let's on. get him. Hey, Ryan, let me introduce you to the owner of the home as well as the architect, Michael Sir, Economist. how are you? Thank you for coming. I love your baby here yeah. that you built. It's gorgeous. Thank you. It's a work of art. It took me two years, but a lot of sweat and tears. It's awesome. So thanks for coming. Yeah, absolutely. This is cool, though. Even from, like, that deck looking down with the fountains you had on before and the hot tub. And so this is, is this low tide right now? This is uh, coming up. We're about medium tide coming okay. up actually right now. So um, the water come up a little bit, little bit further here. So you gotcha. get a great view down the river. Very, very, yeah. very pretty. Yeah, and this is uh, mostly out here. It feels like you're uh, it's made to be on a vacation, like you're in a spa. So it's serene, it's quiet between the hot tub, the pool, the fountains, the fire bowls, the fire pit. It feels like you're one with nature. That was the whole idea here, just to come and relax in serenity. Now, do you, do you always live in the house as you build? No, no, not always, not always. But the last couple I have that I decided uh, more something that I wanted to do for myself and design yeah. things that really that I really appreciated as an architect for the first time. And, that's interesting to me. So this is the second one that we actually did. So, so what do you appreciate the most about this house? You know, it, it's it's an amazing house. It's just the quietness, is serene about sure. it. Um, you know, we we actually the club we we just walk through. We actually cocked it. So a lot of the stuff that I'm making you feel here is the views of the river. Mm -hmm. Just just how quiet and beautiful it is. All the materials we put in the house. You know, we got Italian porcelain. We have um, French oak. I mean, there's just different materials and um, aspects to it, especially bringing in the landscaping and the greenery. And what's awesome about this also, we're about six feet up as you can see. Yeah. And there's no handrails. Yeah. So I designed all this where you actually have gardens and actually drop off planters where you feel like you're not caged. What's your favorite room in the house? Oh, the club behind me. 
the club. That's yeah. where he, I, he was like, you go see the bedrooms. I'm going to go to the club. I was and napping in the club. There. Yeah, we got 465s in there. We got a catering kitchen, then 160 inch screen with eight lazy boys. And it's just, it's, a, it's just a great place to, you know, March Madness or watch a good, good movie with your family. Here. Well, sir, it was great to meet you. You're a, you're a legend in the Palmetto Bluff community here, and you created a gorgeous house. Thank you for uh, allowing Sirhan to list it, and we'll get it done for you. Maybe you will be our buyer. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, absolutely.